All right, England lose on penalties 2-1 to Italy in the Euro 2020 final. Um, I don't know what to say, guys. Very disappointed here. Uh, make no bones about it. The entire England team, the players, great performance. 100% effort. I think they did exactly what they were told to do. The effort was brilliant. Uh, no, no bones there. Uh, this game was lost 100% by Gareth Southgate, the England manager. A after England went up 1-0 uh, in the third minute, they just they sat back. They just sat back. They, they invited trouble onto them. Um, they didn't trouble Italy at all. They didn't take charge of the game like they went ahead and did against Germany when they went up 1-0. Uh, England invited pressure. They gave up possession to Italy, and there was no way for 85 minutes that England were going to be able to soak up pressure from Italy. Italy is too good to let that happen. Um, I, I tell you what, though. Uh, the players did a very good job, as I said. Um, England, uh, Italy, excuse me, inevitably tied the game up. Uh, and England decided to go at it a bit after that. Uh, but... Southgate made some dumb subs. You get five subs these days, uh, and you can make those five substitutions in 90 minutes within three uh, periods, right? So what does he do? He made three substitutions individually. Three individual substitutions. What the hell are you doing, Gareth Southgate? Terrible. He didn't take advantage of this, all right? He didn't take advantage of the talent he had on the bench at his disposal. He's made these mistakes before in this tournament. I let it go because you know what? England were winning. Um, so what can you say? When you win, you can't really complain, right? Um, but really, all of that is besides the point. The main point I want to talk about today is the penalty kick lineup that Gareth Southgate and his England staff put out. Horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. All right. I get that Harry Kane takes the first penalty. You always want your strongest penalty kick taker to go first. It sets the tone for the rest of the team. Harry did well, and he put the ball in the side netting. Well done, Harry, Harry Kane. Excellent penalty, right? Beautifully taken. Next steps up, Harry Maguire. Um, I... I I didn't understand this at first, but then uh, it, it just seemed a bit odd to me. But it's a major tournament. He's a leader. He's the captain of your team. So, yep, let's do it. I'm fine. You know what? Let, let's see how he does. He dispatched his penalty 100 times better than I thought he would. Full credit to Harry Maguire for putting it top shelf. Nerves of steel. Well done, Harry Maguire. No goalie in the world was going to save that penalty. All right. England's third penalty kick taker. Up steps Marcus Rashford. 23 years old, forward player, knows how to strike a ball, plays on Man United. He's taken some penalties before over the years. You know what? I'm all right with that. I'm fine with this. Good player. He was put on. He was subbed in so he could do this. His penalty was absolutely crap. That stutter stepping crap when you step up to the ball to try out with a goalie. No. Damn it! What? What happened to good old picking your spot and fucking hitting it? Hitting it properly. Stutter step, trying to outweigh the goalie. You're not looking at the ball, you're looking at the goalie. Crap. Puts it off the... Just... Oh, good lord. This is a really poor attempt from Mark at Rashford, and I expected better from him. Alright? Alright. England... Your first penalty missed. Your first two in the back of the net dispatched very well. Your third one was crap. That's fine. Jordan Pickford's playing well at this point. Next, your fourth penalty kick taker, 21-year-old Jaden Sancho? What in the hell is that decision? He's barely played in the tournament, and now you want him to be the fourth penalty kick taker in a final? Okay, listen. As soon as this happened, that's everything that went through my head was what I just said right there. It was, what the hell? And I said, you know what? This England staff, they watch these guys every day. They've practiced penalties. He must be really good at them. All right, you know what? Let's go with it. 
Nope, not good at all. Saved, saved easily. Damn it, Gareth Southgate. Terrible decision. All right, you know what? You're lucky because you've got a, go a goalie, uh, Jordan Pickford, who's playing out of his skin in this penalty shootout. So you know what? All right, we'll see what we can do. Um, let's see if Southgate, you can't fuck it up again, right? Who steps up in the fifth penalty spot? You need a strong penalty kick taker. You need someone with confidence. You need someone who's done this and you've seen them done it before. So who do we pick? 19-year-old Bukayo Saka? What in the actual fuck is happening? What kind of parallel universe do you pick a 19-year-old kid to be the fifth penalty kick taker in a major tournament? England, you haven't been in the final of a major tournament in 55 years. You're in a penalty kick shootout with Italy who are strong and you pick a 19-year-old kid? What kind of pressure is that? And some of you might be thinking, well, you know what? He's confident. He's probably done this before. Nope. He's never taken a penalty kick for his club side, Arsenal. But all of a sudden, he's given the responsibility to take the all-important fifth kick in, the major, in a major tournament. What in the fuck were we thinking here? Sterling was on the field at the end of the game. Jack Grealish was on the field at the end of the game. Hell, Calvin Phillips was on the field at the end of the game. Luke Shaw was on the field at the end of the game. He had a great game. Why in the hell do we let a 19-year-old kid who's never taken a penalty kick before be the fifth penalty? This lineup that England's, the England coaching staff chose here was terrible. This loss falls at the feet of Gareth Southgate. 100% Gareth Southgate is, is responsible for this loss for England. There's not much more I can say uh, about it. I, I do want to say congratulations to Italy, who played a wonderful tw a Euro 2020 tournament. They were absolutely stunning. They played really well the entire tournament. They deserved the win. Their manager picked guys to put the ball in the back of the net. They did the job properly, as they did the entire tournament. Congrats to them. Gareth Southgate... Another learning lesson for you. It needs to be better. We have a year and a half away for Qatar. The team we have now is probably the best team we have ever had for an English side. Make sure you get your shit together for Qatar.